day 19 has started and uh, despite the cracking time last night with Dave and Monica, it's uh, so far been a bit dreadful. So um, it took me forever to get off to sleep and then my ankle really started to hurt last night. The worst it's been that was keeping me awake. So half past two, um, I ended up giving in, taking some codidromol and some ibuprofen and, and rubbing an ibuprofen gel. Um, I edited most of my video before I, take, I turned up here last night. Uh, when we finished, I tried to turn the laptop on to do the final bits and get it on and load it overnight. Wouldn't turn on. Um, yeah, so that's all. Everything is bundled up and piled up because that's all uh, come away. So that's got to be done and just parked on a slope as well. So the fridge hasn't been running. So this morning, I've got a lot to try and sort out. I've got to get everything out and then try and refit those units uh, a bit more substantially. Back onto the brackets and uh, attaching back to the wall. Before I can do anything. And then I'm going to head, this is like that, that, uh, what, American Beauty film, isn't it? Like the cover for that, isn't it? Don't you think? Right, so let's just review the carnage. I've moved everything there. Um, got the fridge out of the way. So, there, that's still fixed down at the bottom, but no longer attached to the bottom there. So that plate is okay, just off, and that's now off the side. That's come forward a bit. These brackets have come out, so the larger screws to hold it there. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, this has all gone, that's snapped off. The, uh, this back panel has come adrift. And the brackets have pulled there as well. And these corner brackets are out. So I've got see that one. I've got quite quite a bit of frigging around to do. I don't think it's gonna be too dreadful. But look, I mean come on. John Wayne? Well, I think it's all repairable, recoverable. That panel's pulled off on the inside with electrics, but that's electrics aren't currently in use and that we're going to sort out. I'm going to move the solar panel back this way. Um, give it a bit more space behind. Those brackets I'll have to refit in a slightly different place. Pull some nails out, clip them off. I think we can, I think we can do something. Look at this, got a cracking northern, northern fry up in a house, yeah, cooked by house. Dave, prepared, ready. Monica's <laughs> doing a washing up because it's, it's the, the north. Because we can't stand it. Yeah. Oh, you don't like black pudding? No. No. Oh. I've already thought of it. You're not really northern, are you? No. <laughs> not, not because of black pudding, are you? It's like a, a big scab, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, you can tell we're in the north. When up north, add brown sauce. Yeah. <laughs> well, an hour or so's worked. Some heavy duty screws and a few blocks, and that's all fixed and and uh, more solid than it was when it came out of the the Devon works. Um, so that's good. So we're good. Let's go right up to the rest of the journey. I reckon. Restuck the uh, the solar panel and put it behind. The, uh, the bottom at least, behind the panel that um, goes on the side there. So, fingers crossed, no more problems. So, having a little wander around Durham. That's the market hall over there. That's Dave in daylight. And there's a lovely Monica in daylight. And some old phone boxes. So, we're just having a little look around. Lovely little place, Durham. Oh, we've got some statues here. There's a dude with a 
Got a bugle over there. It's Neptune. Neptune was uh, nearly as good at fishing as me. That used to be Wharton Park and they brought it down here. Yeah. That's quite nice that. I like that statue. I didn't I don't remember seeing that last time I was here. That must have been there though. That's, that's quite an impressive st yeah. statue, but tell me about it. It's Lord Lundury, that's as much as I can tell you. He's quite a controversial because of what he got up to. What did he get up to? Well, he wasn't a nice person, apparently. Was, was he not? Time, yeah. You and weren't they, there? And they reckon there's a mistake on the statue because they, they say the horse doesn't have a tongue. Oh. And that used to be the public toilets. Right. But they filled them in because of the uh, naughty things that were going on. No, I saw naughty things. Well, have a guess. Did you do naughty things? No. Did you do naughty I things? Wouldn't. I did some smelly things. Don't be rude. <laughs> smelly things, not naughty things. Hey. <laughs> that's the town hall, that's, that's where the council went. Now we're a unitary authority. A unitary authority? Yes, but when I was when I was a local councillor. A local councillor? This is the town hall where we had our meetings. Oh. <laughs> That's riveting. But now it's a unitary authority, it's all part of Durham County Council. Oh, so they don't have meetings now? Yes, but they have in the County Council offices. This was for Durham City Council. Ah, right. So now they're in County Hall, which is the city centre. But where we parked, they're building a new headquarters for Durham County Council there because they want to be in the city centre now. Okay. Basically, now you all know that. Plaque on the wall here, the site of the house of Durham's Dick Whittington, Sir John Duck, Mayor of Duck. So, so he wasn't Dick Whittington then? No, he's famous because he just went down the <laughs> So why do they call him Dick Whittington if he's not Dick Whittington? He Did he have a cat or he something? He was Dick Whittington. Well, no, that's just, sorry, that's, that's a bit much that. Yeah. That's a bit of a... <laughs> nah. Look at this. Cut. Coal shovels. You can tell you're up in the northeast. <laughs> coal shovels. Man. Have you got have you got coal in your garden then, Monica? <laughs> Probably yeah. underneath it. Start yeah. digging. Yeah, start digging. Yeah. Make make a few quid. You'll have to explain to your daughters what coal is, I think, and coal shovels stay. Yeah. <laughs> so this becomes more picturesque or less? Oh, less. <laughs> less. Oh okay. But it's a lovely bridge. I mean it's it's lovely. Yeah. It is, yeah. 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 Nice, nice picture postcard. Is it? Well, I can't see him. Oh, but that's a lovely bridge over there. I mean, that looks all, all quite nice, that. Yeah. That's, that doesn't look like troubled water at all, does it? No. So, that's very pretty. I used to fish down there when I was a kid. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you catch anything? Never. Oh. Just a call once or twice. A couple oh. of eels. Over there, right over there. Right over there. That's where Dave used to fish. Dave's just bought me some stotties. Tell me what stotties are and so on. They're a, they're a large bread roll from the northeast. Right. And, uh, That's a huge roll. Yes, and very heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. And what's, what's, what do you do with them? What the, are word, you about? the word stot is uh, slang in the northeast. It means to throw something or to bounce something. So right. the saying goes that with the original recipe, when you make them at home, not from the bakers, uh, if you make them correctly, you should be able to throw them on the ground and they'll not break or fall yeah. apart and they should actually bounce. <laughs> but these are made of bacon, so don't try it. Oh, I'll try, I'll try it anyway. Uh, they feel soft, I thought they were going to be hard. <laughs> I bounced a little bit. Yeah. Ain't broken? No. Brilliant, thank you very much. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> so down by the river at the bottom of that bridge, and that's lovely. It's nice it's flowers. Weird. This time of year, so many flowers about, and it's, it's beautiful. We've got the castle up there, which is currently closed to keep out the invasive germs. A lovely little bit of river. Cathedral at the top. The River Weir. The River Weir. Lovely. There we go, it's the Weir on the Weir. The General Tom Thumbs house underneath Durham Cathedral. This is an absolutely gorgeous spot. It really is. I'm pleased we came walk along here. I had George brought me along here. Uh-huh. Okay. You can give us a clue what they what they are. Look at this, wild raspberries, look at that. If I was taller, I'd grab them. There's a stick I can use. A stick is attached to something, <laughs> probably a tree. A hey, look at that. That's too close. No, wild raspberry. 
Oh, that's good. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Mm. There you go. Dame Elizabeth Bowes, pioneer in the coal mining industry and ancestor of HM Queen Elizabeth II who lived here. So, so Queen's done all right then, coming from a mining village, yeah. you know, from mining yeah. stock. Got a couple of diamonds. Could have been down pit, <laughs> getting her own diamonds. <laughs> now we've got the delightful Durham Cathedral, which I would go inside and film, except I've been there before, and it's hot, and we can go back to the car, and I'm going to go to Scotland. It's very pleasant driving through County Durham, it's very beautiful. The only problem is the last 10 minutes, including roadworks, I've been stuck behind a tractor pulling a tanker full of shit. Well, I'm driving through Northumberland and I've just passed the sign for Otterburn training area where I uh, went a couple of times 25 plus years ago when I was in the TA for training, uh, obviously. Uh, and Bellingham where I went to uh, disco, I organised it and we were told we couldn't go, we still went and I got put on uh, dishwasher duty for the rest of the week while we were staying in Kilda Water which is nearby here as well. Well ladies and gentlemen, I've now gone to the colonies and I am in Scotland! And you know what they say about Scotland, don't you? In the words of the great Renton from Train Spotting, played by Ewan McGregor, let's shake Tommy! Well, here we are, finally in Scotland. I've just crossed the border, I'm now at Gretna. At the services. The first Kentucky Fried Chicken after you cross the border, no less. Right then, my friends, let's have a little bit of audience participation. We're going to have a countdown, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, woohoo! 2,000 miles done. I'm just on the Glasgow outskirts, going around the ring road. 2,000 miles, 19 days, lots of fantastic places visited and some fantastic people revisited. 2,000 miles, get in there my son. Och, hey, laddie. Well there, beautiful boys and girls, it's time for tea up here in Scotland. So, I've got my, my Stotty from the North East, bought by Dave in Durham today for me. Using some of the leftover sausage meat, I've uh, rolled it in flour into little meatballs. Open a can of plum tomatoes. And I've got obviously a beer, I've got a Cobra tonight. So, just got my oil on. Just gotta fry off the meatballs a little. Get them sort of nice and browned and hot and then once that's done put in the tomatoes a bit of Worcester sauce some salt and pepper to season it and then I've cut open the stotty pop them in like a pocket just look at that isn't that glorious I'm gonna love eating this in a minute well that's all ready to go and I've put some crumbled feta in and on as well I can't wait to eat this so I'm not gonna wait bye Well, I'm just about ready for bed. The sun is setting and I'm parked up in a gorgeous location overlooking the Clyde. It's beautiful, 